Good morning, lovely people. Rise and shine. Today is a super sunny day, and I'm going to Salon C Print. It's a printing fair. It's a printing company's trade show. If you're an artist, if you want to sell art prints, no matter if you want to sell it、uh, print on demand online or printing with a local company, I think it might be interesting for you to know what kind of machines, scales, prices, technologies available to you. That's why I'm gonna make this. Video and show you what I see there. Well, I also want to use this opportunity as a kind of a experiment because I would like to make a lot of videos, but I don't have the time to prepare to make tutorials, to make、uh, the research, the scripting, and everything. So I wanted to kind of change the style of my videos and make it more of a vlog type. Just talk to your guys casually, so I can keep in touch and to share my life. I know my life is not exactly the most exciting life, and <laughs> sorry, my home is super messy. I'm not very comfortable, confident sharing everything, but I think this is a Good experiment, so that I can produce more videos. I can make perhaps weekly videos, vlog, and make monthly、uh, longer tutorials. So so far, this is the plan. Let's see how it works. Let's pack up and head off to Salon C Print. Let's go. Right now, I'm gonna first visit my school, the IE Business School. Grab my friend who is teaching there, then have lunch and go to the convention center together. Special-looking street. Palacio de la Izquierda, ¿lo ven? Qué más grande. The print fair is held in an area called Casa de Campo. It literally means the countryside house. Lots of nature. I got to witness a wild bird use toilet in front of me. Oh, a bird is shitting! Oh my goodness, I caught it on camera. Nice. Oh, we're finally here! Yeah. It's funny that they insisted to print the pass, so it's like a printing fair that prints everything, no? Yeah. Fancy red carpet. In the fair, I found four most popular kinds of production techniques for merchandising: automated embroidery, direct-to-garment printing. Two-step heat transfer and sublimation. Let's first have a look at embroidery. What surprises me the most is the cost of production per piece. It's a lot lower than I would ever imagined. The the files we can、uh, use are either pictures, JPEGs, or vector data, EPS files from CorelDRAW, Illustrator, something like that. And then we have our own software to convert it into embroidery files. The machine then will just choose the right colors, so we are fully automatic. The machine knows on which needle which color is, and when you send the file, it can detect: okay, red is there, red is, blue is there, and then you just put in the garment you want to embroider on. You press start, and it will work. If you have yellow, and there's one kind of yellow. Even if it's not the same code, it will just choose the yellow you have on the machine.、Uh, we're talking、uh, about 15,000 euros for a complete system with software, machine installation. The material cost will be well. First, it's the garment, the hoodie you're using. Threads and backing is very cheap. We're talking for 5,000 meters of、uh, of thread for about six six euros. Means. An embroidery like that, you will have cost of maybe 20 cents, 30 cents maximum. But then it's just the maintenance of the machine. It's the machine. It's the maintenance. It's the person who operates the machine. That's the most heavy part in the in the whole calculation. Okay, this is a different stand, not the previous Merco, and they print some really wicked stuff. Look at this. What is that? Recoma. Now let's have a look at the machines to start your T-shirt business. Basically, you use a printer to print directly onto the garment. Then you dry it with a heating pad. They call it the curing process. It works the best on cotton. So the more cotton the shirt contains, the better the result will be. The inks are water-based, and they have the certificates that ensure that they can be. 
in contact with the skin. Let me open the printer and we'll show you. So here you have the carriage where you have four print heads. And here you can see in the, in the pipes, you can see the white and the CMYK. This accessory is magnetic, so you can interchange very easily. Okay. And uh, we have also a higher productivity model, which is this one you have here, which is Ally 2000. The smaller one, I don't know, is around 5,000 euros, more or less, yeah. with the oven. Yeah. And this is 11,000, and this is 16,000, something like this, more or less. So in this case, what you have are two carriages, one dedicated for CMYK with four print heads, and here you have four print heads dedicated for white. In this printer, you print everything at once. In RI1000, you print in two times, first white and then CMYK. In this printer, there's lower uh, print mode, which is this one, which is the highest quality. It takes three and a half minutes. The fast one could be faster? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, in, in white uh, garment, you can, it takes 36 seconds in, this, in the lowest quality. Another direct garment printer from Epson, sure color. T-shirt, 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 T-shirt. I think it's a heat transfer stand. So cute, baby clothes. Heat transfer is the best for baby clothes because the color is really vibrant. It works on all sorts of textiles, but in my opinion, they crack and fall off easier than any other methods. There's no perfect solution. You win some vibrance and you lose some durability. What is that? It's like an ice cream machine. Why are you shaking? Huh. Not so bad. A little object. This company uses sublimation technique. Sublimation works best on white synthetic surfaces. It can be a form treated wood or laminated aluminum like the one you see sometimes in an exhibition. It's like a two-step heat transfer, but the only thing is that the ink is transferred like a printing, not glued to the surface like heat transfer. It's a bit complicated to explain. So if you want to know more about it, you can check out on YouTube or on Google. So there are three different kind of uh, finish. You see the glossy, semi-glossy, matte. This one is really matte and looks quite nice. They sell this uh, little machine at a price of 500 or something that comes with paper and stuff. And then you put it in this uh, heater to finish. One uh, A4 page cost is like the consumption with paper, ink and everything is like uh, one euro something, one euro 40 cent. So I just asked her, how does it work? The special shape, how to cut it? And she just told me they sell it <laughs> like this, special shaped, you just print on it. And then it will look like this. Um, well, there is a one thing I didn't mention that is the UV printing because I feel that it's not so common and not so accessible. It has some of the most desirable characteristics of all the other methods. It prints on all sorts of uh, absorbent or non-absorbent surfaces. It's vibrant and durable. Just the machine, it's huge and costs a lot of money. I would wait until this kind of technology is more accessible and cheaper to acquire one. Well, 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 there are three machines. The smallest one is this. The second the smallest is this. The largest is this. And guess how much does it cost? It's like the retail price for the smallest that prints 60 by 45 centimeters is like 30,000 euros. It's even more expensive in dollars. That's like uh, as expensive as my father's car. So I'm not sure if this is a good thing to know about because I just feel like kind of disencouraged to even like know more about the machine. So direct to garment example again. There are a lot of machines that does it quite cheap. United Industries. 
the name is funny. I really literally thought it's Ununited Industries. Organic cotton, prints, bags, phone holders, and most importantly, those uh, little ropes, or however you call it. You can uh, customize those simple ones. The minimum is 500 per order. And you can put your logo here, and you can change the different uh, colored uh, rope or different material of the hook. And then for those ones, the minimum is 1,000 because you choose the color that goes into and it's a complete bespoke piece. If you want to complicate things by changing different materials of the hook, then you might need to discuss with them to see the price because I asked the most simple one like this, the price is like uh, 50 cent euro per piece. I would say it's pretty cute for like a street artist. Could be pretty nice. We just finished the fair at 7 p.m. and the sun has just set. <laughs> the sun escaped, there's no more sunlight. It's quite raining right now. The weather has changed a lot. The fair was quite different than what I thought it would be. Uh, there are a lot more t-shirt printing, embroidery, those kind of uh, industrial and merchandising kind of printing. I thought it would be a lot more, you know, fun art, C-print, DSEC, Aludibon, this type of gallery, museum quality print but there was not really a stand or a booth like that. It was a lot more about merchandising, cooperative gifts and those kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong with it and they have some really decent quality, some really cheap and prosumer level machines that individual artists can buy and open their own store with. But still, it was a different kind of fair than I thought. I don't know what you guys think. You know, as I just said, I want to make this video as a vlog, show you what I've been doing, just to kind of walk you through my daily life and perhaps you can also learn something. If it's interesting for you, give me a like. Thank you very much and see you.